Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to create audiences in google analytics 4 and the different types of audiences you can create for remarketing now remarketing or retargeting is a fantastic digital marketing strategy where you are able to reach out to your potential customers repeat customers or pretty much any audience that you want and follow them around on the internet so that you can convert them into you know the desired audience that you need so for example let's say someone visits your website and they do not subscribe to your newsletter or let's say they vis visit your website and do not purchase then you can then you can remarket to them or retarget them across the internet and make them convert now as you know with google ads facebook ads or linkedin ads it's not possible to convert someone at the very first attempt and that's why you know you need to retarget them but to build specialized audiences you need to have the ability to track them and create those audiences and the best way to do that is through GA4 so I'm going to be showing you two ways in which you can create custom audiences and sync those audiences back to Google Ads now the first way is through the um, exploration section in your GA4 account if you don't know how to set up a GA4 account uh, comment in my channel or send me an email and I'll be happy to do it but um, basically this video assumes that you have already set up GA4 so in your exploration section you can use the free form area and then there is something called a segments so segment is basically you know you are able to create like different chunks and then if you hit plus this is where you can create a custom segment so I'm gonna choose you know a user segment but really there are some pretty predefined segments that Google has already built so for example recently active users non purchasers uh, purchasers seven day inactive users. these are all like different segments now if you have an e-commerce store and if you have enough data you can even create like a predictive audience which is fantastic uh, and look at this you can create an audience based out of people who are likely um, you know likely seven day purchasers you know likely seven day churn users um, likely first time seven day purchasers a predicted 28 day top spender like this is fantastic right basically GA4 is predicting an action and you will be able to create that audience now to keep it simple I'm, I'm selecting the user segment and then if I um, use this condition this is where now you are trying to define you know the different options and once you define those options you can click on build an audience now I'm going to show you the best way to uh, create an audience I don't like to typically create an audience from the segment uh, the other way to do that is through um, the um, the admin section and then the audience so choose your account choose your property GA4 property and then click on audiences uh, this is where you can again create your new audience so as you can see you have a button called as new audience I'm gonna choose that then click on uh, custom audience and let's say we want to create an audience based out of people who are engaging with your website so in that case what I will do is I'm gonna click on an add new condition and I'm gonna say um, scroll event is like scroll and then I'm gonna say um, let's see percentage yep so they have another field called as person scroll and then I'm gonna say uh, let's see greater than and I'm gonna say 25 hit apply so what this basically does is it's trying to create an audience based out of people who visited by my website and who has scrolled more than 25 percent and as you can see on the right hand side it's giving me that you know there are like 31 active users in this audience now I can increase the limit I think the maximum is 540 or something like that uh, so let's, let's do this let's say 540 uh, and if you if you click on save 
that's how you can create a new audience now this is pretty cool but what about creating an audience based out of you know visiting a certain section on your page so say for example you are running google ads and then you're driving traffic to a specific landing page right and then the typical scenario is you have that offer page where you know there's a bunch of things going on and then people don't convert and then you want to retarget in that case what you can do is you can say you can search for page location right the dimension is page slash screen scope is event scope and then the name is page location and then in your ad filter you can say it contains and then the url of that page so you can use contains or you can say equals to you can use any of them so in that in this case i'm going to say contains and then i'm just going to say like for example home page over here and hit apply so in that case what google has done is now you can of, co of course replace your this url with your url so slash let's say offer page right so you get the point so basically what you're doing is now you're able to like zoom in on a specific page within your website and create an audience so immediately on the right side you can see like this is the uh, this is the uh, total summary of the audience and then hit save so that's one way of doing it and you can even like add conditions so let's say they should have visited your offer page and you can say um, this scroll um, percentage is more than 50 percent so in that case what you're saying what you're saying is they have to visit your offer page and they should have interacted with it in some form and let's say you have um, set up like a uh, click event so say for example in your offer page you have like a bunch of call to action button like buy now subscribe get my course or something like that you can even add you know a custom event so I'm gonna say click look at this so I have a click event and and you can say click uh, event count so I'm gonna search for count over here so that's the event count right and then it should be more than 10 now I don't know if I have yeah I don't have any click activity going on on my home page but you get the point right if they have clicked on your offer CTA but they have not converted this is the perfect combination to do that so you can now get all kind of you know advanced combination to make sure that you're able to create an audience the other way to do that is um, let's say you want to build an audience based out of demographics you know this is like again a standard way of building an audience so to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna change this and add condition and I'm gonna say country over here so country ID contains US and hit apply so what I'm doing over here is I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm saying that I only want to build an audience uh, based out of people who are from this specific country you can of course add more countries to this like let's say everyone from North America everyone from EU or only from Asia right and then you can go on and on and on let's say you wanna you know zoom in a bit and then say I also want to make sure that the age group is uh, between 25 and 34 hit apply and it says zero for me but in your case of course if you have more traffic from that location you will immediately um, have you know more audiences in your list so as you can see now you're trying to build an audience based on demographics which is fantastic now let's talk a little bit about e-commerce because I know a lot of you have e-commerce stores so let's talk about that the best way to segment or create an audience is um, based on purchase events so I'm gonna again click on use a segment and I'm gonna say the event is uh, let's say you want to target retarget people who viewed your product page but did not take an action so I'm gonna say view item and I'm gonna say the event count 
is greater than zero. So what I'm doing over here is I'm trying to focus only on the top of the funnel users who have who have just viewed the product, right? This is again um, a pretty high level targeting for your audience. But let's say you want to get uh, even more specific and say, hey, you know, I, I want them, I want to retarget only people who have added my product to the cart. So in that case, what you will do is you will say, uh, it's called as add to cart. Yep. So event name is add to cart and the event count is greater than zero. So as you can see from 16,000, it has gone down to like 235, right? So that's pretty fantastic. Now, again, I'm assuming that you have e-commerce tracking enabled. If you have, if you have installed, sorry, if you are on Shopify, then you need to make sure that your GA4 is installed properly so that uh, it can get all that data. Um, if you don't know how to do that, let me know in the comment section or send me an email. Uh, but yeah, that's the add to cart. The other aspect is, let's say you want to target uh, only people who have converted, so your customers, right? So in that case, what you will do is you will say the event count, event name is purchase. So event name is purchase and event count is zero. So as you can see, now it's targeting all your customers. Let's say you want to uh, do some pretty advanced, um, you know, targeting. And in this case, let's say you want to um, you want to target people who have high probability of churn. So let's say they are an existing customers, but then they are most likely to, you know, drop off or they want to, they want to move the brand, right? They are, they want to move away from you, for example. So in that case, what you will do is you can say, and condition, and then I think it's something called as predicted revenue. So that's the one. So it says metrics predictive. The name is predicted revenue. Uh, and look at this. So you can you can basically choose these options over here. Uh, like most likely top spenders, least likely top spenders, and you can choose the customized range. So that's pretty awesome where you are able to now um, target an audience who are more likely to spend more likely to churn. There's, I think there's something called a churn as well. So look at this. So I selected predicted revenue, uh, but we wanted to target people who are your existing customers, but they have a high chance of, uh, you know, moving away from your brand. So I'm going to choose customers and churn probability and then say most likely to churn. So in this case, you are now targeting or you're building an audience who are at high risk and then you can run retargeting and give them a <clears throat> sorry special offer and make your brand sticky that's fantastic so take advantage of these predictive you know audiences because they work they are pretty good and i think it's ga4 is pretty awesome in that case you can even do some audience exclusion so look at this um, you know, you have now calculated like um, an audience who are targeting your customers and your churn, but then you can also add an exclusion group and they can, and you can say um, they should have, let's say they had, um, they had at least one um, session, right? So in that case, you can try adding you know, audience exclusion, which is important. So I think, you know, I've covered a lot of scenarios in terms of building an audience. I want to quickly do one more. I want to give you one more um, insight or one more, uh, you know, tip, which is trying to sync this audience back to GA4. Uh, sorry, Google Google Ads. So to do that, you need to go to your admin section and uh, you need to click on this Google Ads links. Now, and this is where you will be able to do that. Click on link and choose your Google Ad account. One thing to keep in mind is for that, you need to click on data settings, um, data collection, and you need to enable Google signals. This is important. Only then you will be able to sync your Google analytics data back to your Google ads account. 
and then I also advise you know enabling these and then uh, acknowledge you know this part over here so that you are able to like um, sync all your data properly and um, to view your audience in Google Ads you need to log into your Google Ads account tools audience manager and this is where you will be able to um, you know see your audience coming from your Google Ads account so as you can see there are so many audiences that I've already created so that's pretty much it guys in terms of you know how to create custom audiences in GA4 using you know different um, you know options you can create a segment and then based out of that segment you can create an audience or you can start from scratch that I have shown you based on like the events like clicks video views um, landing page views campaign views um, you know demographics e-commerce like all and even like machine learning audiences based on out of like predictive churn rate and so on so, so on and so forth so I hope that you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and comment if you have any questions let me let me know in the comment section and I will see you next time thank you